Hello, this video will show you how you can connect to one of Stanford's Linux servers. And also, uh, we're going to launch a, a batch process from that server just to show you how that's done. So I'm on a Windows machine right now, so I'll be using the secure CRT application in order to connect to the server. I'd like to connect to a server called yen.stanford.edu, which is not on this list. So I'll, I'll have to create a new session. And in there, I just want to make sure I get the address of the server as well as my username. And if I want to, I can optionally change the session name, but I'll leave that as it is. And so if I connect to this and say yes, and supply my password, now I'm in. And uh, before I get going, I'm just going to change the font size on this a little bit. So under session options, I can go to appearance and change the font there. Okay. So on this server, this will accept any Unix commands that you know. So for instance, if I want to change a directory with a, with a CD command, I can do that. List the contents of a directory, I, I can do that. I can use a program like Emacs or VI or less or you know whatever you're comfortable with in order to open a file. And in this case, this is a, a very simple SAS program that reads in a text file and then runs a linear regression on the variables there. So if I want to uh, run this SAS program, uh, just two steps that I need to follow. First, I need to load SAS. And once I submit that command, now SAS is ready to go. So I can say SAS, name of my program. And in just a few seconds, this will finish. And I can use Emacs again to look at the results in the .lst file. And this is exactly what you would expect to see, um, a readout of uh, parameter estimates and standard errors and such. So that is a very quick example of how you can launch a batch process from uh, a Linux server in secure CRT.